Hello, my name is Igor, and uh, I maybe I don't look like a swimmer, but I am master's open water swimmer. I have a separate channel for that, it's Swimming Lifestyle, uh, the name of the channel, where I show the locations where I go to the competition, so check that, it, it, you may find it interesting. One of the most important equipment for swimmer are goggles. In the last 6-7 years I'm using the Speedos Fastkin Elite goggles. And as you can see I have four of them because unfortunately the rubber gets weak after 2-3 years. So I need a spare goggles, I need for racing, for training and similar. When you buy these goggles you get three bridges. Unfortunately four millimeter is the difference between these bridges and you don't have an option so you you have to use one of these so far. Uh, I'm using this biggest one on all these goggles but I know I need something between these two the largest one and the middle sized one. So I decided to 3D print one. Let's see it. Uh, these are my goggles. It's the same type, only different color. And usually I get these three bridges with them. And I need something between this biggest bridge and this middle one by size. Okay, let's analyze this one. Let's take. Let me take. So, the main part is this box here, rectangle box. Inside it's flat surface. Outside there is additional flat here to put easier into the hole. And here maybe you can see in a video, there is, it goes out a little bit to lock into the place when I put it in the goggles. These two parts are the most important and uh, what I have to measure is this angle here. I think I will put on the scanner like here and I will scan it so I can analyze it. I can measure the angle. This angle here. So if you look this is the rectangle part and actually this kind of ellipse which from the side is in this angle here. This part will go inside this. So there is the place for the rectangle. And this is the elliptical part. And I'm not sure about this angle, but it looks like it's 45 degrees. Okay, let's do some measurements. Only the surface which touches the glass of the scanner is in correct size, but that is what I need. So from here I can measure the angle. Okay, let's cut the picture. I will analyze better only these white bridges. I need the ruler tool. It's in millimeter, the measurement. At first let's check the sizes. So the larger bridge is 30 millimeters, the middle one is 26 millimeters and the smallest 22, so 4 millimeters step, that's too much I think. Let's crop the middle bridge so it can be analyzed better.
Let's check is it in level, so it has to be horizontal. Okay, and now let's measure one angle, it's, uh, yes, it's 60 degrees. And now the other side, yes, it's also 60 degrees. This is my final plan for first attempt. There are two rectangles from this U. Angle of this is 60 degrees. Around this rectangle there is ellipse. And from this U it looks like this. Well, this is the third dimension. This is three millimeters. Here, this will be 2.3, but here on the wider uh, position, it is 2.43. And this is two millimeter high. After this rectangle, there is an ellipse, so it will look like this. But this has to be cut under angle. And this will be the bridge from here. Dimension of this ellipse is 5.8 and uh, 3.1 Okay Let's design it in Fusion 360 I'm signing for this rectangle box adding those flats and adding the ellipse cutting the ellipse in uh, on the 45 degrees mirror the bridge and adding the middle part of this bridge and this is how it looks like in three dimensions and now it is ready to be sliced, prepared for 3D printing. And this is a slicer, so I am rotating this object because I don't want so much support to use. This is the position it will be printed. I am changing the settings, uh, 0 0.1 will be the layer height changing the material and of course it is best if I use 90 or even 100% infill and this is how it looks like in simulation for printing. For the first look, it, it's, it looks good. Moment of the true. Wow, it's in. for the first attempt. Wow. Oh yeah. 
yes this is my size oh. I am very happy with this and this is my first attempt hmm but the real test will be in swimming pool let's go After one hour of swimming, the bridges is still in one piece. So it's good so far. Okay, let's go home. I'm using this bridge for a week now. I have printed it in PLA and PETG. Both materials work fine so far. Uh, maybe the PTG will be more du durable because it has better water resistance. But I will see. I cannot change this video, but I can update uh, the text in the description of the video. It's, there will be some changes if it will break or something like that. But so far, both materials works fine. I mean, how cool would be if Speedo or or other companies would provide these STL files? On their website so you buy the goggles if none of those bridges are good for you then you can download the STL files and you can print it yourself can somebody forward my information to these companies please it's free advice only I ask you to subscribe to my channel the STL file of this bridge can be found on my website there is the link or, or it's in the description of the video Thanks for watching.